it's Tina. Today we are going to be making a thank you card. And I'll show you the paper I am using. I am using from uh, My Mind's Eye, the Lost and Found Rosie Collection. And this is the paper I picked out. So we're going to be using this paper today. Also, I am going to be using some stuff from Wild Orchid Crafts. My skeleton leaves and my ivory roses. Some baker's twine. Some trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Some burlap ribbon that I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then the couple stamps we're going to be using, they are from the We Are Memory Keeper stamps. Um, one of them is the thank you set, and it looks like this. I don't know if I'll be able to show through. I'll put it like this. It looks like this. And then I'm also using the polka dot stamp, and I'll show you that because we're going to do all that together. So the first thing I want to do is I took... We are using the car, a card base of five by six and a half, and I took my pattern paper and I cut it down to four by five and a half, and I took my Tim Holtz paper distressor and I went around that already, and I distressed it up with the Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. And then I also took a shipping tag that I've had sitting around forever. And I distressed around that with my Tim Holtz paper distressor. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this first. I'm going to take my polka dot stamp and put it right into my tea dye distress ink. And we're going to put it straight onto our tag. I'm going to have to do it a couple times so it'll fill up the whole page or the whole tag. Okay. So I have that done, and this is how it looks. So I kind of have like a background stamp. Then, since I already have this distressed up, we're going to take our distressing tool, or our inking tool, and I'm just going to go right around the edges. And it's really going to pick up that color because I already distressed it. And then, I want to take my blending tool and I want to come off the craft sheet and onto the mat just to give it a little bit more color. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. And you want to go in circular motion because it helps blend it onto the paper and you don't have all those streaks. Okay, so there's that. There's our tag, and I have never used tags before, so this is my first for me. So I did that. Then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, vintage photo distressing, and I have my thanks stamp already put onto my acrylic block, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it straight onto my tag. So then we have this. Um, I took a button and I wrapped some um, baker's twine around it, or in through it, and gave it a bow. And I'm going to put that right up here on top. And I'm going to use a glue dot for that to hold that down. I was just going to have this tag done, but I figured, nah, we'll do it on camera. Everybody can see it. So I'll put that up there. So, so far we have this. Now, what I want to do is I want to take one of the skeleton leaves that I have and I want to put that onto my tag. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my precision tip glue gun here because I don't need a whole lot. And I love this glue gun. I just got it last week. I love it. Okay. Get that to stay on there. So I kind of want my leaf to overlap. I don't know if you can really see that that well, but I want it to overlap off my tag. Then I'm going to take my two roses from Wild Orchid Crafts, and I also want to glue them down onto the bottom of my tag. And I'm also going to use my hot glue here. 
And I'm assuming if you wanted, you could spray these and change their color, but I'm not going to. I want to keep them the ivory. Okay. So I'll pop this one on there. Then I also have a butterfly chipboard. And this came from, let me see, Melody Ross Collections. Yeah. And they're chipboard butterflies. And I wanted to put one of those on there too. So I'm going to just go ahead and glue that also on there with my, my hot glue gun here. Just put that right on there. So then here's what our tag's going to look like. Now, let's go to our card. Let me wipe off this distress ink, otherwise it's going to get all over the back of my card. The card base I am using is a cream colored cardstock. So what I want to do is I want to adhere my pattern paper onto my, the base of my card. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to use my ATG for this. Put one strip down the center. Let's get that put on there. And then I have a piece of burlap that I already put two strips of. Um, I used the score tape. I put two strips of that on the back. So I'm going to peel that off. And sometimes this gets tricky because it doesn't want to come off. And I maybe should have already peeled it off, but I didn't think about it. And I find that it holds really good on lace and trims and stuff when you use the score tape. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put it here on the edge, a little bit away from the edge. I don't want it exactly on the edge. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and cut off the excess here. Okay. So now we have a card that looks like this. Now we can go ahead and bring our tag into picture here. And I kind of want it to sit like this. Let me see here. Let's go. What we really need to do here, I forgot to do. So I'm going to take my tea dye and I'm going to go around the edges of the base of my card because it looks too plain. And I want to bring in a little bit more of that tea dye color just to make everything pop just a little bit more. And I'm also going to go all the way around, all four corners. That looks a lot better. So then I'm just going to use my hot glue gun again. And I'm just going to do a really thin line all the way around here. A little bit in the center. I'm going to go ahead and pop this down on there. And now I did cut out one of those rosettes from that trim. And I'm going to go ahead and put that straight on top. So we'll just go ahead and put that up there. I usually don't use my hot glue gun that much. But ever since I got this precision tip, I use it on like everything. I love it. Because you don't get the big thick globs of glue. So, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few of my flat back pearls here. And I think I'm just going to put two of them up here on top. And there's our card for the day.
I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I'll come back a little bit later today and maybe do a Valentine's Day card, depending on how well my cleaning goes up here in my scrapbooking room. So um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. And thanks for watching. Bye.